I was watching one of TD Jake's sermons. And what really motivated me, I had to put this on my screensaver, y'all, because... I was scared, y'all. And I was like, if I get to work and chicken out, or if we get a chicken out, I'm going to have to look at this phone screen for confirmation. It says, I have permission. Freedom. You got this. Or I got this. It says, I got this. I'm so nervous. I'm so scared. But I have to do this for me. I'm gonna go for it. Let's get you. I'm scared. I'm scared. I can't let fear run me. I can't let it. I can't let fear run me. I gotta do this for me. I gotta do this for my babies. I gotta do this for my daughter. I gotta do it for my son. I gotta do it for my mama. I gotta do it for my family. God got me. I got me. It's gonna be okay. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? I'm Dara, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Usually, I post hair content. I post a lot of content. First, I was looks natural. Now, you know what I'm saying? I'm growing a lot seven months in. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. <laughs> but here recently, I've been on a whole different journey other than hair journey. <laughs> I've been more so on like a spiritual journey and really trying to find myself. And so I did a big thing. I did a real big thing. I did a thing that is really unlike me. Like, it's really unlike me. And I decided to share it because I feel like it's the beginning of the year, it's a new year, and a lot of us have a lot of dreams and a lot of, um, what is it, New Year's resolutions. And I feel like this video may help to motivate someone who, is afraid or scared or are just kind of stagnant i know it's early in the year to be scared and stagnant well really it ain't because i was scared just a few days ago okay because i just recently quit my job on tuesday today is thursday i quit my job on tuesday january the third Okay, yeah. I quit my job on Tuesday, January the 3rd. Today is January the 5th. And I'll get more into the depths of how it happened or just that day, how I was feeling or whatever. But I want to start from the beginning because the beginning is basically where all of this kind of started. And I'm going to go all the way back. Trust me, this is not going to be a long video, but... Um, I'm going to just kind of give y'all a little bit of my life story, just a little bit. It's not going to be a long video, but I'm going to just kind of catch y'all up so that I can explain to y'all why I did what I did. Because, you know, it's really unlike me to do something like that, okay? Do something like this. <laughs> so, when I was young, little Dara, childhood, elementary school, I used to have like a crazy, crazy imagination. I always was a dreamer and a lot of the times I wasn't here like mentally I was always in the clouds okay and I was really misunderstood for that growing up so I really didn't have a lot of friends and so a lot of times I would conform to other people like I was always a people pleaser you know I always been that type of person real shy quiet and as I got older, life happened, and I met people who weren't the best for me, and I got into relationships that weren't the best for me, and life happened, and I lost those dreams and that vivid imagination that I had when I was young. Now, as I was getting older, you know, I did have spurts of my dreams and my aspirations, but 
because of the mindset that I was in at the time, I really put my dreams and things to the side so that I could please other people because that's just the type of person that I was. So around 2010, I'm not really good with dates. I had entered into a relationship that wasn't the healthiest. It was actually very violent. I'ma just call it what it is. It was a domestic violence relationship. And I was still in this relationship, um, you know what I'm saying, in and out for six years. You know how domestically violent relationships go. You know, you back and forth a lot of the time. And he's actually the person that gave me the referral for this job because where I worked, it's like, a lot of people, back in the day, everybody wanted to get into this job because it pays really good, but you had to have a referral for it. Me getting that job was really a blessing because I was able to get out of that relationship because it was one of those type of relationships where I wanted to leave, but I was really dependent on him. Getting that job, it was a big blessing because it paid good had excellent benefits. It's a great job to retire from if you really like that type of work. So when I got this job, I was able to move out on my own. I really thought that I was free, you know. In a way I was because I was able to get away from him, but I really wasn't. But we are gonna get into that, okay? <laughs> we are gonna get into that. When I got into this job, you know, I was excited. It was a new opportunity for me. And like I said, it was great paying, excellent benefits. But the environment of this place, it just wasn't, it didn't mesh with my soul. I've always been a people pleaser and shy and quiet. And that environment just was filled with a lot of gossip, a lot of rumors, people talking about people, like it just, jealousy. It was just a whole lot going on there. And... I just knew in my heart it wasn't for me. Being there, it really turned me into a different person. Like, I wasn't the, I was more so turning into like this mean, always, you know what I'm saying, angry, vindictive. Like, I was turning into a whole different type of person. And when I was there, I didn't notice it, but now I really see like, the type of person that it was turning me into. And also, that job, they didn't care about their employees. I'ma just say that, they did not care. I knew at the end, I knew it was the end when just in December, we had a big snow, a big snowstorm. We was in a state of emergency. It was below zero outside. Roads was slick, icy, and they still made us come into work. If we didn't go into work, we was not gonna get paid for our vacation pay and it's it's so crazy like I'm not gonna throw the company under the bus but if you know you know I'ma just say that but they didn't care about the safety of their employees obviously because why have us come in you know what I'm saying it was just all those little things that made me know you know it helped me to realize like girl this ain't for you the main reason why I stayed is because I got comfortable. I got comfortable with the pay. I got comfortable with the benefits. And it's hard to leave a place that you've been. Because I've been there for about to be seven. It, well, it would be because I ain't third no more, okay? <laughs> but I would have been there for seven years in February next month. I was comfortable. I was about to get a raise. We have profit sharing. We have... Uh, contract bonuses every four years and the pay was great but it's like I was sacrificing my time my life my personality the person who I was for that I'm just I'm going on on a rant but I, let me finish let me finish let me finish the story is this a story I guess it's a story but let me finish <laughs> Cut back to this relationship, this domestically violent relationship. I'm hope I'm saying it right because I'm saying domestically violent. I hope I'm saying it right. Hopefully I'm saying it right. Back to this relationship, okay? So when I first got the job, I was very dependent on him and his family because I really didn't have anybody to watch my kids. So I had my aunt, my grandfather, 
and I love them so much, but they passed away. And those were like the main two people that I had. And then I had my brother and my sister-in-law, but you know, they worked. So I could only have them on certain days. So the days that I didn't have them, I was dependent on him and his family to watch my kids so that I didn't go to work. Even though I left him physically, like mentally, he was still there, if that makes sense. He knew this, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say he's a narcissist, but I'm gonna say he had like them traits in him. You know what I'm saying? He had some narcissistic traits because he knew this. And I feel like one of the main things that people like that do is whatever type of control that they can have over you, they will use it. And even though I wasn't there with him physically, like living with him, he knew that I needed his family and I needed him in a sense so that I can go to work, so that I can pay my bills and be sufficient. So in my mind, basically, I'm thinking I'm free, but really and truly, I ain't. I wasn't free. So he was basically using it as leverage, throwing it in my face at every chance that he could. He knew that that was the only the real the only real control that he had over me and every single time that he had a chance or every single time that I declined him he would make it a point to let me know like I'm the reason why you know what I'm saying you get to go to work I'm the reason why you even have this job I'm the reason why you know what I'm saying you can go to work because my people's is watching our kids so you know it was <laughs> it was crazy I'll talk more about, you know, that relationship in a later video because I really feel like it's a lot of people that's going through these type of relationships, going through these type of situations. And I really want to help people who are in that situation or are trying to leave that situation. Like, I really want to help. So I am going to be making another video about that, a separate video. So recently, I went through a period of awakening, like a spiritual awakening, where I really dove deep into myself and seen past patterns and just seeing basically what led me up to this. And I really got a chance to go back to the little Dara, like the little me, the younger me, my inner child. I really had the chance to remember that great imagination that I had, those dreams that I had, like, I don't wanna get all emotional because y'all, that's a whole nother thing. But I really was able to see clearly everything. Like I was able to clearly see everything. Now I was starting to see things, you know what I'm saying? The more I distanced myself from him. But during this awakening, like it really opened my eyes. Like I see why they call it awakening. Cause for real, it opened my eyes completely. Okay. <laughs> it, it just allowed me to see the whole picture. And when I thought about it and I thought about how comfortable I was in this job, like, I was like, what am I doing? Why am I here? <laughs> Why am I at this place? It's not really benefiting me emotionally. It's not catering. It's not helping me to get to my dream. You know what I'm saying? I'm risking my life in the freezing cold to go to this place that wouldn't care if something happened to me. They wouldn't care. This is somebody else's dream. And I just was like, why am I sacrificing my dream for somebody else's dream why am i sacrificing my life for somebody else's dream not only that i put myself under this person's control just everything about this job the only thing good about the job was the money and the benefits but why not chase my dream and get all of that plus more you know what i'm saying like everything that connected me to this job made me unhappy every day i was unhappy i was just so on the edge all the time it really like made me feel like i was going crazy i was stressed out every day like that's a whole nother thing y'all i do plan on going more into it but i just wanted to put this video out because it's the beginning of the year and i know we all have our resolutions and i know it's easy to go back to the old you or the you that you may not be happy with so I really just wanted to put this video out. At this point, it's time to live for me. It's time to live for Dara.
not only that because i have two babies i have two precious children i have a daughter and a son but in my daughter i see a lot of me like the little dara <laughs> she acts so much like me and i would never want her to experience the things that i experienced in my life growing up and just period overall and so I feel like I have to show her that there's better. That's really my main motivation at this point is setting an example for my kids. Not only that, but finding my happiness. So Tuesday, January the, what day did I say? Third, fourth, fifth, third. <laughs> so Tuesday, January the third, I decided to choose me. I decided that it's my time. What better time than this time? And I ain't here no younger, shoot. I know that God has my back. I've talked to him. You know, we went back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Because I was scared. I mean, I was afraid because it's like I'm leaving this great paying job with excellent benefits to follow my dream that isn't technically here yet. But at the end of the day, I know God has me. I know he has my back. I know he's with me always. He's always been with me. And for the first time in a very, 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 very long time, I have my back. I'm not gonna look to other people for assurance like how I used to do. I'm trusting in myself because I believe in myself. I love myself. It took me a while to get to this point, but I'm here now and we finna do this, okay? <laughs> I decided to record this video because I feel like there's somebody out there that needs to hear this. I don't know who you are. I don't know who I'm talking to, <laughs> but you need to hear this. Follow your dream. Trust yourself. You can do this. You just got to have faith and you have to really believe it's going to happen. Talk to God about it and believe in yourself. Because you can do it. Just think about all the things that you've been through already and surpassed. You can do this. Life is way too short to be comfortable and stay stagnant. It's time to elevate, level up. So, what I need you to do, I need you to give this video a like. Because according to YouTube's algorithm, how you say it? Algorithm? <laughs> but according to their al algorithm, still can't see it. If you like this video, it will help YouTube to know to share this video with even more people because we need this video to reach everybody, all the people that need to hear this. So go ahead and like this video. If you have something on your mind, if you want to share something, comment down below because that also helps too, okay? <laughs> Not only that, I am anxious and ready to hear from people who are like me. I'm looking for my community, my people, so... Comment down below if you got something you want to share, something on your mind. Go ahead and do it, baby. Okay. <laughs> and also, if you want to follow me on this journey to happiness, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified and you can follow me on this journey to happiness. That was kind of lame, but yeah, y'all know what I mean. <laughs> because there's so much that I want to share and I really hope to inspire others who are like me. Also... I'm changing my channel name, okay, because I'm Instacurly Natural. I did see where one of my, I hope she's a subscriber, but she had said something about um, how my personality is exuding or whatever. And you know what I'm saying? Thank you, girl. But I have been planning this since the end of the year to change my channel name from Instacurly Natural to my actual name, okay? My name is Dara Madrice, okay? Dara, y'all can call me Dara. It's a little hard to say if you look at how it's spelled, but it's Dara. I've always loved my name and it's, it's got a unique reason behind it. <laughs> Maybe I'll share it with y'all eventually. But yeah, we changing the channel name over here, okay? I said I wasn't gonna make this video too long. Hopefully it's not long. Uh, <laughs> y'all be safe out here. Because this world is crazy. Like, for real, some crazy people out here. But I also want y'all to remember that you only live once. Why not live it in your happiness? Okay? I love y'all. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, y'all.
Y'all, I don't know how to feel right now. I don't work here no more. I don't know whether to feel sad or happy. This is my year. This is my year.